I got an award. Absolutely. Look at the Lord. Yes. Lord, I got this award. I got it. Me. Now, this is for, it's an award, Lord. So I got an award. Absolutely. And hoes mad, hoes mad, hoes mad, hoes mad. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you mad? Oh, my God. Where is the police? Where are all the feds? Um, so I won. It's a flame. I'm a badass bitch. And hoes is mad. Oh, my God. Oh, you want to fight me? <laughs> Portia. Girl, Kibi, girl, I heard you want to fight me. Oh, I heard you want to fight me. Oh, my God. This bitch is mad, mad. They want to hurt me. Oh, my God. So, if you don't know what's going on, this happened yesterday, right? And then just all of a sudden, the Kibi, you know, just comes out of the blue. Why the hell? After all I've done. Okay? First blogger to be sued. By a superstar, Cardi B. And you give that fucking queer award? Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Yep, I won. Oh. Girl, are you upset? Oh? Cause you didn't say nothing before this award, bitch. You didn't say anything or we had nothing to talk about. Oh. We ain't talked since you sent Scammy Hammy after me and I have for coughing. That motherfucking hope, baby. Absolutely, girl. After I killed the last motherfucking zombie and sent over here, bitch. Like I motherfucking said, fuck you hoes. And then when it comes to you, bitch, you can't never come for me. Where's my mugshots? Where charges? Yeah, law-abiding citizen, bitch. You sat over there and got bored. You in that PI that you motherfucking paid, bitch. I hope you get a motherfucking refund, ho, because you haven't displayed anything that I have not said publicly. Just like your stupid ass just sat over there saying, one thing you're not going to do, trans Rena. Is make it look like I'm some type of fraud. Ho, please. Anybody that has a common name, sorry your mommy gave you more so of a ghetto one, bitch. But my name is very motherfucking common, ho. So when you type it in, all motherfucking type of names gonna come up, bitch. But there's only one me. And there's only one person with my motherfucking social, bitch, that filed for PPP loan. So you motherfucking tried it. Ain't no fraud over here, ho. Everything that I did was legal, just like you did when you got your 40K in it. Yeah. Mm, but you're that bitch. A bitch like you and a bitch like me should not be in the same lines, ho. So if I was in a line for the PPP loan, bitch, you should have been elsewhere. Yeah, trans arena. But you're that motherfucking bitch. Girl, please, have the seat that I'm making you have right now. There's six more just in case you get lost. And you weak-ass winos that's in my motherfucking chat, my block these hoes because you bitches have no say-so over here. Fuck you hoes. Sit there like the basic bitches y'all are and listen to another basic bitch that you call your queen be red. Once again, convict motherfucking music, bitch. I see you winding and grinding, misshaped on that pole, bitch. Where's the mug shots? Where's the tea? Oh, there is none. Now all of a sudden you want to delete shit? No, bitch, leave it up. I could have definitely got that shit taken down immediately. But for what? I'm going to let this bitch sit here and be the dry-ass, basic-ass, digi-ass, dirty-ass bitch that she is. And you wonder why I call her so many bitches because it's exactly what the motherfucking hoe is. So this bitch ain't never going to try me in her motherfucking life. I don't give a fuck what you post about me, hoe, because I done made peace with my entire life, hoe. I'm not sitting over here living in sin like basic bitches like, yeah. So you sitting over there horrenting, trying to come for me. Bitch, you filed for a bankruptcy. Pull up the tea. Pull it up. Oh, 10th grade this and 10th grade that. Bitch, I was post-secondary since the ninth grade. I had three blocks at the beginning of the class in high school, and I would leave on the city bus, bitch, and go to SCSU, it's documented, ho, and have three classes of college, and then I would go to fuck home after that, ho, whenever the fuck you get through. Bitch, I went to college before you. I went to college twice. Can you say that, ho? Can you say that? Don't ever play with me and your motherfucker. Hey, guys, so since the whole BBL conversation when uh, Tasha K was talking about going to have surgery. Um, Sean, Damian Wayne, and Tasha have kind of not, well, if they are taking shots at each other, I don't know about it, right? But, so let me say that, but, um, you know, she put this post up saying that something about Sean had two loans or something, one for a, a car wash and the other for his production company. Now, I know that Sean says that he's married, so it's possible that he and his husband may have a car wash. 
Uh, maybe the husband is the one that's running the car wash. I don't know. Um, but, you know, and maybe, the, you know, the husband has employees, you know, to assist him. Now, um, so yeah, I mean, he, of course, is admitting that he did apply for the loans. And then, um, she, I don't know if, if she's going to admit to it or not, but uh, apparently she applied as well because he of course then came back and pointed out the fact that she has also received uh financial um you know the ppp loan so um they're both going at each other about that now tasha has employees and she's announced that several times and she has a few girls over there working with her um with her channel her production company because she, she also has a bunch of other social media platforms that she have to maintain so and all this stuff is very time consuming you do actually need to have people with you and i think when most people get to the point to where they can afford to hire staff then they do and so she's announced a couple years ago that she had some she has a booker i know she has someone there booking because uh, other people have uh, you know talked about that as well as far as them co you know contacting them trying to book them for her show so she definitely has a booker and she has some other people um working with her as well um now i don't know who handled the research over there <laughs> i really don't know who's handling the research over there but anyway um so he's you know also brought up the fact that she may owe um cardi some money and if you read the paperwork i'm not sure if i posted the entire well I said I was going to post the entire thing if you guys want me to uh, I could do it I could probably put it up on my discord um but she was saying that um I mean excuse me Sean was saying that if she has to pay 70 70 thousand um her salary is somewhere at 200 thousand but just because it's saying that that um may not necessarily be true Tasha has several other things going on so and she also has her door endorsement brands that she create those commercials for on her channel so if you guys are aware you know that she's more than likely getting paid to run those commercials on her channel um so she's definitely probably over the 200,000 and the judge will decide how much she'll have to pay Cardi B, um, so, and I'm sure we'll hear about it, um, in a later date, so I don't know if we should believe that we know that Tasha is worth 200,000, I think that she had Storm post one of her, her, um, her pages where it showed the amount that she earned, um, and I think it says she had made 30,000 a month or something like that, I guess because she had it was it's a long well long story short she had put storm's um information out there and so um i guess she just went on and allowed storm to put hers out there because people were like why are you telling his business why are you showing how much money he's making because you guys know if you don't know storm Monroe, who's another youtuber he is under contract and she also has these contracts with some youtubers as well so she's also getting money off of these people um, and she's assisting them to build their channels. Um, and I, I don't know if it's 10% or somewhere around there that she's getting uh, from them, from helping them build uh, their numbers. So, uh, and I believe Storm Monroe is one of those people. And so she may have had access to his channel information um, to make sure, you know, that she can get whatever it is that she's supposed to get from him. Now, um, when she did that, a lot of people were complaining, so st she allowed Storm to put her salary out there, and he showed that she makes about 30 a month off of this channel. She also has another channel. She has a Patreon. She has uh, several other social media platforms, and if she has the numbers, she's more than likely getting paid off those pages as well, and I'm not trying to tuck her pockets. I'm just saying that we don't know how, you know, her net worth um, just because it says that on Wikipedia. Anybody can go in and put that information in. But let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments. I don't know, though. I just think it's probably not a good time to be playing around about that PPP loan fraud stuff, like using that, because you probably will get the attention of the people you're trying to get, you know, their attention. <laughs> so I don't know. As long as they have their 
what is, ducks in a row, is that how that saying goes? Then I guess it's okay to sit around and kiki over things like that. But um, we don't want to see either one of y'all on the 8 o'clock news in Clank Clanks. <laughs> Get walked up out of the Kiwi Studios. Out of the Sean Davy Way Studios. But let me know what you guys think about this story in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.